Oh shit. Hi everyone and welcome to TWF Dynamite or Might. I, Mike Lane, Tony Shavati, Montel Vertadius Porter here. And today on today on Dynamite or Might, we're gonna see Baron Corbin here today on Dynamite or Might. And that can't not be a good thing, uh, Mike Lane says. No, it's not a good thing at all, Tony Schiavone said. Not when Baron Corbin's around. The bully, the heel, the creep. You know, whatever you want to call him. He's got the stand and the mindset and the behavior that goes along with being a bully. Mike Lane says. Uh, Tony Schiavone says. i tell you what right now, Mike and Tony. You want to guilt and shame and scave, you know, Baron Corbin for having the stand and the mindset of a bully or a heel or a creep, I think it's done kind of well for him. You know, he just, you know, I think he should, uh, he should not be wrestling on earthly beings, you know, or anyone else. All right, Baron Corbin goes. So it seems so yesterday on NXT, I was fighting some unearthly being, a werewolf. Are you kidding me? I mean, I know when I came to the toy wrestling gathering earlier this year, this would have been either the fifth month or the sixth month, I knew that I was going to be fighting folks that weren't, you know. But then I was fighting Disney cells, Sega cells, Nintendo cells. But then I seek myself what the hell? And it couldn't get worse because then yesterday I fought a unearthly being, a werewolf. I mean, come on. I mean, you don't see that go, you don't see that happening in any other toy, any other skilled toy wrestling business. Nah, I take that back. We see that shit happen all the time in the SMF. And if you don't know what that means, it means Super Mario fan or Over Mario fan. He does that shit. He's been doing it since 2012 YL. We've been doing that shit since 9293 YL. So I tell you what, Baron Corbin says, I think that I should get some on look. Hell, I was a former King of the Ring in WWE, a former Galled in a boundary winner in WWE, a former WWE, former WWE 4 1 rights fighter. Hell, I was a former WWE Andre the Ethelin King Fighting Kingly winner. But now I'm fighting werewolves? I mean, that's fucked up. Fighting werewolves. I mean, sadly, I'm fighting werewolves. That's the fucked up thing. So I want what you want, Baron Corbin, doesn't really mean anything. You're not going to come out here and hold up the show because you're angry that you fought a werewolf yesterday on NXT. Now, the higher leadership has enough time dealing with all kinds of binds and downsides air in a toy wrestling gathering. And I'm going to tell you what. Since you don't seem to be so happy with fighting an unearthly being like a werewolf, well, you're not going to be so happy fighting someone here today. Well, who is that going to be? What, is Astronomer too busy to come out here? Is Hunter Hearst Helmsley too busy to come out here? Is Gil Kim or Godzilla too busy to come out here? Anyone from upper leadership? Hell, I guess he's in Xena's too busy to come out here. Well, I got a match for you you're going to like. You're going to take on that Steven Seagal self, Nico Satini. Oh, from Above the Law? Or Nico Satini, Above the Law? Creep can to get with the 
the creep can't eat the 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 creep can the creep can't even get any wins over Austin Ferry, and I should be frightened of him. Yeah, you will. And here today, no, I think I'm gonna fight you here today. You know what, you maggot? You don't want to fight me. But anyway, since you're asking for it, you're going to be fighting me here today. And that match will start now. And that's a setup. Well now, well now here comes the fight, Lord. In the ring now, Mike Lane says. And Jim Ross, you know all about Sars and Flotter and all about his four or five runs, about having his five, four or five runs in WWF, WWE, his two AW, two AWE, two, two AWA runs, his two MACW runs, his, you know, his AWF run and his WWE run. Yes, I knew Sars and Flotter for for sundry years. You know, Jim Ross says, I know he's a former WWE heavyweight fighter and a two-time WWE. I know Tony Schiavone said he's a former WWE heavyweight fighter and a two-time WWE 4-1 rights fighter. And he still wrestles in smaller wrestling businesses. And a body slam by Sergeant Slaughter. Or whatever the English word for sergeant is, and sergeant is most likely a French as borrowed word, Mike Lane says. Sergeant Flaughter taking down Baron Corbin. I want to know something, Montavitatis Porter says. How can that be lawful? He's a matchmaker, or is he the, uh, the upside upholder, and he's making maps, and he's put himself in a match? I believe it is lawful. I believe he. Th I believe he talked with Astronema early. I believe he talked with Astronema, you know, before he made that match. So I don't think it's unlawful. Mike Lane, uh, Tony Schiavone said. Don't forget, Sergeant Flaughter had a match with, with, you know, with Hunter Hearst Helmsley at one in your house. DX in the one at in your house one time, and he had a boot camp match with Al Snow on Raw. But I'm guessing he had talks with Gorilla Monsoon before he made those matches. Well, anyway, here it comes. He come back in the ring now, and he took him down now. Yeah, he hasn't really. Anyone know Montel Arcadius Porter says he lost more matches than he won, and almost all of his runs in WWE or WWF WWE. In his AWA runs, in his MACW runs, in his AWF run, and his WWA run. And a body slam, Montaritatis Porter says. No one really thinks he's that, you know, that bold. Here it comes. The end of days. He's going to give him the deep six. Baron Corbin hopes that he will beat the 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 oversight upholder slaughter here today on Dynamite or Mike. Mike Lane says, "Well, he won't be the first man who ever gotten himself over by beating slaughter. Slaughter has had many squash matches with sundress wrestlers over the years. He won't be the first or the last one to get a win over him." Well, Montavitatis Porter says. He'll be the first one to beat him here in the toy wrestling gathering. One, two, and a kick out. Baron Corbin thinks he's going to win here. Baron Corbin, he's in the Cobra Clutch. He's in the Deadly Snake Grip, the Deadly Snake Squeeze. Will Baron Corbin, will he get out of it? Slaughter has beat sundriest wrestlers in the AWA MA. M-A-C-W, WVF, WVE, the AWF, WVA, WVA, as well as, you know, you know, with that hold. Oh, no, Baron Corbin just deep sixed them again, and then ended day them. It didn't happen. One, two, three, Mike Lane says. Like I told you, Bearer told you, Montalvatatis Porter says, 
Baron Corbin was going to get the win. Here is your winner, Baron Corbin. Well, Mike Lane says you were right. Baron Corbin did get the win against Sergeant Slaughter, or whatever the English word for Sergeant is, since that's a French's borrowed word, you know, um, Mike Lane says. Baron Corbin beats him here today on Dynamite or Mike. Well, you're right about that, Tony Schiavone. So then again, he's not an everyday wrestler or everyday fighter. So getting a win over him is kind of cheap. At least that's my hell belief. I tell you right now, Mike and Tony Montel Retadius Porter says, need be Baron Corbin will get some on look. You know, need be Baron Corbin will get some on look. You know, they'll put some on look on his name, Montel Retadius Porter says. Well, speaking of that, Bob Walk now is now going to be talking. Bob Walk now is now going to be talking with Bear with with Baron Corbin. All right, Mike Lane, Tony Schiavone, I'm going to be talking with Baron Corbin here today on Dynamite or Mike. So Baron Corbin, you got to win over the uh, uh, oversight upholder Slaughter. Yeah, I did, Baron Corbin says. And need be, he might be the worstest main overseer we had. And we had a lot of them. I mean, we had Aladdin. We had Godzilla. We had Lord Zed two times. I mean, we even had Ernest P. Worrell. We had Pee Wee Herman do it. We had Sailor Moon do it. Jim do it. Xena do it. Aladdin do it. We had Peter Long do it. I mean, we even had four... I mean, when you think of it, I think we had Diva Talks do it. We had Aries, whatever. A lot of folks. At the end of the day, I think, you know, and he's been a bad one. But I got the win over him. Yeah, you did get the win over him, Bob Walk says. But do you think you're going to have a bond between you and upper leadership now? No, I think Astronema and everyone in upper leadership will put some onlook on my name. And they'll give me the onlook that I asked for and that I need, Bob Walk. Well, I can tell you right now, Baron Corbin, onlook is not something you get. You can't ask for onlook. You have to give onlook to get onlook. Well, what do you know? You're a former, you're a former MBL, you know, ball player whose only cool thing he ever did was fall off his seat in one of the games. Well, that may be true, Bob. That might be true, Baron Corbin. But at least I give on look to get on look. Anyway, Baron Corbin, you still got the mindset of the bully, the creep, and the hill. Well, I don't care, Bob Walk, what you think of me, you former MBL you know, ball player, shifted play-by-play -play caller. I don't care what you think of me. Well, that's my talk with Baron Corbin. Back to you, Mike Lane and Tony Schiavone. Thank you, Bob Walk, for talking with Baron Corbin here today on Dynamite or Might. And is all the time we got it for Dynamite or Might. I, Mike Lane, Tony Schiavone, Montel Vertadius Porter. We hope you like Dynamite or Might, and we'll see you tomorrow for Impact on XS TV or Smash and Inside FS.